Hey guys, welcome to Jen's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how I make my traditional Dominican stewed beans. So let's first start off with two cups of dry red kidney beans and submerge your beans in about six to eight cups of water. You're gonna wanna cover and soak for a minimum of eight hours or overnight. My beans have been soaking for eight hours. Now let's turn up the heat to medium and cook with the lid on for an hour. Okay, let's check on our beans. As you can see, the water has evaporated. Let's add more water and make sure you periodically check on your beans. You do not want them to dry out and burn. As our beans are boiling away, let's get started on my favorite ingredient, the West Indian pumpkin or aljama as we call it. Make sure to remove the seeds and peel the tough skin. I use a potato peeler. This makes it so much easier than cutting it with a knife. Then you're gonna wanna cut your pumpkin in about two inch cubes. Rinse and drain them, then add into your beans. For the flavor base of our beans, let's go ahead and use half of a red and green bell pepper, sliced, and also one onion cut into quarters, and cilantro. Let's smash three large cloves of garlic with a chicken bouillon cube to make a paste. At this point, your pumpkin has fully cooked and your beans are nice and soft. Now let's go ahead and remove about one cup or a cup and a half of this beautiful bean stock with the beans and the pumpkin and add it into your blender and puree for about five minutes. Make sure everything is well incorporated and we're gonna add it back into your pot. You do not wanna skip this step, you guys. This is what's gonna give your beans that creamy, rich consistency. To a hot skillet, add some vegetable oil, garlic paste we made earlier, sofrito, tomato paste, and the veggies we diced up as well. Stir fry this for about five minutes just to get those juices going and then add it into your beans. Incorporate this very well. Cook on high heat for about five minutes till the veggies get tender. Then add two tablespoons of vinegar. It's been two hours and our beans are finally done. Now I like to remove the cilantro, peppers, and onions because my kids don't eat it. So this step is totally optional. You can leave them in. The full recipe is on the description box below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.